Hey guys, what's up? Darcy here at Six Strings Nine Lives. Uh, back for another episode of Six with Six Strings. Uh, welcome to episode 10. Uh, just six random albums from six random bands from my collection. Uh, a couple of these for sure have been inspired uh, by just from me watching videos over the past week or so, or even as uh, early as yesterday. Um, there is uh, several uh, cassettes that I have that I still need to, you know, we'll call upgrade into a CD. Um, not that there's anything wrong with cassettes, but I just find that the CD is a little easier to, uh, you know, take in a vehicle or... And the other thing is I don't have a proper uh, cassette player at the moment. Um, my, my old Sony died in battle a, a couple of years ago. So anyways... One that I wanted, and a, and a band that I've actually wanted their first four albums at least on CD. Uh, I just one just arrived yesterday. I know the album. Um, as I put the album on, it, it all came back to me very fast, and, and how much I really enjoyed this album. But one of the cassettes I wanted to uh, get on CD was this Tesla uh, Psychotic Supper. This is my original cassette from 1991. Um, Tesla's over third overall studio album. So, and and some of these are you can pick them up for pretty cheap, you know, ten to thirteen dollars or so. So I picked it up on CD. Um, wow, uh, what a great album! First of all, um, I only know Tesla's first four albums. So please let me know um, any of their other four studio albums. Um, you know, is that something I should be picking up, uh, digging a little bit deeper into Tesla? But I've always loved the first four albums. There's the back cover. Um, great songs, like one of my all-time favorite Tesla songs is Man Out of Time, Edison's Medicine. Um, song and Emotion, a great tribute song to Steve Steeman Clark from Def Leppard. Uh, Changing the Weather, um, What You Give, just... Uh, just an overall really good album and just one of those albums that you know um, that I listened to a, a pile uh, back in the day and uh, you know as soon as you put on you, you know the feeling when you put on these albums like it just feels like yesterday and uh, pretty cool so I have some more Tesla on the way of the first four um, but let me know should I be picking up some more Tesla next up um Great band from Germany. You all know this band. Um, there, for me, there's two favorite uh, eras of this band. That's the 70s and 80s. Um, depending on the day, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I crave a little bit of the 70s, or uh, in the next day it's some 80s. But you know, if asked to choose, I would probably lean towards the 70s material, uh, just because it's very unique. It's it's it, it's groundbreaking in a way. But I'm talking about Scorpions. Uh, Virgin Killer from 1976, the fourth overall studio album from, like I said, the legendary uh, uh, Scorpions. And of course, you know, this one features uh, Uli, Von, uh, Uli, Uli John Roth, sorry, and he does sing a couple of songs on this album, but just great tracks like that, that I love, Pictured Life, uh, Catch Your Train, Virgin Killer, um, Polar Nights, that's one that uh, Yuli sings. Just, uh, yeah, pu I pulled this off the shelf and uh, listened to it. I'm like, yes, you know what? There is some really um, cool uh, 70s Scorpions. Um, and I do enjoy some of the 80s too. But, you know, let me know. What are what are some of your favorite Scorpion albums? Do you, do you like the 80s better than the 70s? Um, let me know. Next up, this one's direct inspiration from watching a video i think just yesterday um great great band um love this guy and I, I i like i like this guy more with this band than i do um and you'll know who i mean right away of course but black label society uh, i love zach wild um i do like his aussie material don't get me wrong it's it's all fantastic i still wish he was with ozzy and Hopefully we do get one more studio album with Zach on guitars with Ozzy. But you know what? His his vocals are fantastic in this band. He he just fits, you know, that big, 
biker style guy with the leather, the chains, the big boots. Um, but what a, this is a, sorry, and this is a, their eighth overall studio album from Black Label Society, uh, released in 2010 called Order of the Black. Um, if you haven't heard this album, you, you definitely need to. Um, great tracks like Crazy Horse, Overlord, Parade of the Dead. I could just go through every one of them, actually. Um, Riders of the Damned, um, just great album um, from 2010. Um, yeah, don't sleep on Black Label Society. They, there's definitely some gems in there. Uh, the Blessed Hell Ride, Shot to Hell, um, Catacombs of the Black Vatican, all just really good albums. Uh, yeah, definitely glad I pulled this off the shelf last night and gave it a couple of spins. Uh, great album. Next up is a uh, fourth overall album um, from 2016 from Canada's own uh, kind of new wave of traditional heavy metal. Well, it is. Um, if you like bands like uh, White Wizard, uh, Enforcer, Skull Fist, um, even Haunt, you'll you'll love cauldron this uh this is cauldron's fourth overall studio album called in ruin just fantastic one of my favorites from them um their first one their first four this is is their fourth album but their first four albums are just killer um their latest album from what was it last year new gods not bad it's got some really good tracks but definitely looking forward to seeing what um cauldron does next uh, check out tracks. My favorite track on here is called Come Not Here. If, if you don't do anything but just, uh, if you don't listen to this album, but just go listen to that one track. Um, you're going to get an absolutely uh, cool feel, uh, great guitar riffs, uh, vocals. Everything fits together nicely with these guys. Um, Burning at Both Ends, Empress, uh, Santa Mira, just a, a great overall album um, from Canada's Own Cauldron. Um, if you're familiar with watching these episodes, I do carry over one band from the previous episode. And uh, last episode, I showed you an album. It was my introduction to a, a Canadian band called Exciter, called Long Live the Loud. Um, and I thought, I gotta show this album, because it is... This is must-have speed metal, a little bit of elements of thrash metal, but um, this is a, a must-have... This is Exciter's first album called Heavy Metal Maniac. This is a 2005 reissue on Megaforce. Uh, absolutely great album. Um, definitely check out Exciter. You know, I have their first um, five albums. Um, after that, I honestly lost some track of them. I, I don't know it, it, if there's anything you can recommend that maybe uh, I'm, I'm uh, kind of missing the boat on with Exciter. Let me know. But I do enjoy their first five albums. Their first three are absolutely, well, we'll call them legendary here in Canada. They're, you know, very good. Uh, check out songs like Stand Up and Fight, Heavy Metal Maniac. My favorite track is Iron Dogs. Uh, also Under Attack, Black Witch. Uh, anything from this album, if you like your speed metal, check out Exciter. <coughs> Excuse me. And finally, in today's episode, <clears throat> you know, if you would ask me three or four years ago, even, I wasn't really much into to death metal, um, but through watching videos, I've really opened my eyes to, you know what, some of it is absolutely fantastic, and, and I'm still learning, I'm still trying things out, so, you know, if there, after I show this album, if there's some death metal that you think is in this lines let me know and i will check it out um i have tried bands like um you know morbid angel um carcass you know great stuff and uh some of it very hard to get um you know might have to wait out wait out some reissues but even some reissues of some of these they disappear fast anyways here's a band that really open my eyes to the genre of death metal and uh besides the band death of course but that's obituary this is their third overall studio album called the incomplete um just a really good death metal album if you are looking for something 
a little heavier. Like I always said, I, I listen to stuff from Faster Pussycat to Obituary um, and everything in between. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, don't don't feel bad if you like something. Hey, if your favorite album is Poison, look what the cat dragged in. Hey, what's wrong with that? Not a big deal. Anyways, sorry, getting off track, but what a great album from Obituary. You know, if you want to dip your toe into stuff like Death, Obituary, maybe some Bolt Thrower, th those are great bands to start as far as... And, and this is coming from somebody that, you know, um, did exactly that. So anyways, check out this album, The Incomplete. Um, great tracks. I'm in Pain, Back to One, Awesome, uh, Killing Time, wraps up with a really cool track called Rotting Ways. Uh, obituary's third overall studio album and this one sees the return of uh alan west on lead guitar um, everybody who knows obituary knows that james murphy was on their uh second album called cause of death Le another legendary uh death metal album pretty cool so that is it for episode 10 um thanks for uh dropping by always appreciate it let me know in the comments is there some like i said it some of these, I, I need to know more uh, about some of their albums that I don't have. I, I don't have any of the newer obituary. I don't have uh, any of the past four Tesla albums. Uh, let me know, is there some worth checking out? You know, I know, and, and there is some of it, it it's a case of uh, difficult to get too. So, um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. And until next time, stay safe.